Inquisitor. Heard what went on in that Fade thing. What you think went on. Can't even start to believe that business. We can stew about what we saw for ages, but some of us didn't come back. Knew you'd get what was important. Yama yama, visions and shite. People are dead, probably. Hawk, yeah? Lost a champion. Also, you could tell the wardens to piss off. And they're always weird. Usually, bad stuff happens first, so you're glad when the hero shows up. But wardens are the wrong way round. They're the good thing that means a bad thing is about to happen. Like in Denerith, when the blight ended. A lot happened in Denerim. What did you see? People talked a lot about this one warden. There was a big fight and they died, or I don't know, maybe they didn't. The hero of Ferelden. You forget the hero of Ferelden. That was ages ago. Ten years. I was playing with small painted boxes and burying stuff I stole. I remember more people cringing about magic than blight. Wardens were an excuse for your stuff to go missing. Blackwall's nice, though. Different from the adamant ones. Need more like him. Something on? No, but you like demons. I enjoy the company of spirits, yes, which is part of why I do not abuse them with bindings. It isn't abuse if I ask. Not always true. Also, I do not practice blood magic, which renders this entire conversation academic. He won't bind me. He's a mage and he likes demons, but he won't help. Why would you want Solus to bind you? So I'm safe. If Solus won't do the ritual to bind me, someone else could. Will. Like the Warden Mages. And then... I'm not me anymore. Walls around what I want. Blocking, bleeding, making me a monster. A mage using blood magic could conceivably do that to any one of us, human or demon. You should ask Solus to bind you too, and then someone can bind him. We'll find a way to keep you safe without binding you, Cole. I have a suggestion, if Cole is ready to listen. I recall stories of amulets used by Ravani seers to protect spirits they summon from rival mages. A spirit, wearing an amulet of the Unbound, was immune to blood magic and binding. It should protect Cole as well. The resources of the Inquisition could be used to find such a talisman. Good. They will not take me. Inquisitor, if you're looking for the commander, he's gone to speak with Seeker Pentagast. book oh, I don't know what you're talking about yes because I suddenly went blind oh that just reports from commander Cullen 
You're an excellent liar. It's of no interest to you, I'm certain. It's a book. I can see that. It's one of Varric's tales. Swords and Shields, the latest chapter. So you like to read? What's wrong with that? It's frivolous. There are more important things for me to do. That's just her favorite. Nobody asked you, Tevinter. <laughs> I couldn't finish the last one you lent me. I actually feel dumber for having tried. It's literature. Smutty literature. Whatever you do, don't tell Varric. Me? No, I would never. They're terrible. And magnificent. And this one ends in a cliffhanger. I know Varric is working on the next. He must be. Pretend you don't know this about me. You asked for my opinion, and I've given it. Why would you expect it to change? I expect you to keep your word. It's relentless. I can't... You give yourself too little credit. If I'm unable to fulfill what vows I kept, then nothing good has come of this. Would you rather save face than admit... We will speak of this later. And people say I'm stubborn. This is ridiculous. Cullen told you that he's no longer taking Lyrium? Yes, and I respect his decision. As do I. Not that he's willing to listen. Cullen has asked that I recommend a replacement for him. I refused. It's not necessary. Besides, it would destroy him. He's come so far. Why didn't he come to me? We had an agreement long before you joined us. As a Seeker, I could evaluate the dangers. Is there anything we can do to change his mind? If anyone could, it's you. Mages have made their suffering known, but Templars never have. They are bound to the Order, mind and soul, with someone always holding their Lyrium leash. Cullen has a chance to break that leash, to prove to himself, and anyone who would follow suit, that it's possible. He can do this. I knew that when we met in Kirkwall. Talk to him. Decide if now is the time. Maker's breath. I didn't hear you enter. I... Forgive me. So long as you weren't aiming at me, I'm sure the box had it coming. I swear, I didn't know you were... <clears throat> oh. I never meant for this to interfere. Are you going to be all right? Yes. I don't know. Did you know Ferelden's circle was taken over by abominations? I was there. The Templars, my friends, were slaughtered. I was tortured. They tried to break my mind, and I... <laughs> How can you be the same person after that? Still, I wanted to serve. 
They sent me to Kirkwall. I trusted my knight commander, and for what? Hmm? Our fear of mages ended in madness. Kirkwall Circle fell. Innocent people died in the streets. Can't you see why I want nothing to do with that life? Of course I can. I... Don't. You should be questioning what I've done. I thought this would be better. That I would regain some control over my life, but... These thoughts won't leave me. How many lives depend on our success? I swore myself to this cause. I will not give less to the Inquisition than I did to Chantry. I should be taking it. I should be taking it. You give enough, Cullen. I'm not asking you for more. The Inquisition can be your chance to start over, if you want it to be. I don't know if that's possible. It is. <laughs> 